Developing right now at 4 o'clock, the deal is off, at least for now. That's the word out of federal court in Wilmington today after a stunning turn of events during a hearing for the president's son. Hunter Biden was expected to accept a plea deal today, but instead pleaded not guilty after the judge raised concerns about the agreement. It is Wednesday afternoon. I'm Brian Taft and I'm Sarah Bloomquist. The big story on Action News is that hearing in Wilmington today that did not go as expected. Federal prosecutors and Hunter's legal team left court today with the deal on hold. Action News is Walter Perez live outside that courthouse in Wilmington now with more on what comes next in this case. Walter. That's right, Brian and Sarah talk about courtroom drama on paper. Today, the judge was expected to tell the prosecutors and Hunter Biden's attorneys that the plea deal looked just fine, but it didn't turn out that way. What started as the impending approval of Hunter Biden's plea deal turned into a contentious hearing with Judge Mary Ellen Nareka questioning the legality of the agreement and then saying she would not, quote, rubber stamp the deal, which she described as, quote, form over substance. Former Philadelphia prosecutor Tom Malone says this kind of development under a plea deal is pretty unusual. I was 10 years a prosecutor and I've been a defense attorney for a few years as well and I haven't seen it. Today's hearing was supposed to mark the end of a years long investigation. A slate of accusations against Hunter Biden had been whittled down to two misdemeanor tax offenses and a firearms charge. The pretrial agreement was basically designed to keep the president's son out of prison in exchange for a guilty plea. But over the course of three and a half hours, the judge poked a string of legal holes in the deal, expressing several concerns over the terms. The bottom line is that even though the 53-year-old Biden entered the courthouse with every intention of entering a guilty plea, instead he pleaded not guilty until attorneys from both sides can meet and address the judge's issues. Malone says, from what he understands about the case, the judge's decision to tap the brakes on the deal was the right thing to do. I think the way it turned out, is that she asked the right questions. And I think that um, giving it uh, a time to, to, to look into it and to, for both sides to brief it, I think was the prudent thing to do. Meanwhile, no firm timetable has been set, but we're told the parties will reconvene sometime over the coming weeks. Reporting live from Wilmington, Delaware, Walter Perez, Channel 6 Action News. Sarah? Okay, Walter, thank you.